Let's take a look at some options for what are called signatures in Microsoft Outlook. To get to signatures, let's first click on the Tools menu, and in Tools, we go to the bottom and click Options. In Options, we're interested in this Mail Format tab, so we'll click it, and we'll find a Signatures button down here. Click that. We don't have any signatures, so we'll click New to create a new signature. We're going to call the signature main. Now, I'm going to just put Toby Richards, Network Administrator. And under that, maybe I would like to put a uh, graphic of the logo of my place of employment. I happen to have that in a paint document right here in an image. So I'm going to select Edit, Select All, Edit, Copy. Now I can close Paint and what we'll unfortunately find is I can't paste. It's disabled. Here's how we get that graphic into the signature. We're going to go ahead and click this Advanced Edit button. When we click it, it asks if we want to open an editor that is not part of Microsoft Outlook. Yes, we do, so we'll click Yes. Now we're in Word. Now what we find is that I could go ahead and click Paste, and my logo appears. Well, that doesn't look very nice, so let's look at a trick to try and make this look a little bit nicer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in Word to the Table menu. I'll click Table, Insert Table, and I'm going to insert a table with three columns and one row. Then I click OK. And as you can see, I in fact have one, two, three columns and only one row. Let's go ahead and cut this graphic and paste it into the middle column on the table. Let's cut this text and paste it into the left column on the table. And I'm going to go ahead and type in some other information on the right column so that the graphic could then appear in the middle of my information in a way that I think looks good. Let me just put in my phone number and my email address. It could still look better, so let's right click in these cells where the text is, and we're going to choose the cell alignment option. And as we can see with cell alignment, we have options for top left justified, middle left justified, and vertically bottom left justified top, middle, and bottom center justified, and top, middle, and bottom right justified. What I'd like to do is choose middle, left justified, and it moves my text down to the middle of the cell. I think that looks better. I'll do the same thing for this other cell over here. There. Now I don't want these table lines to appear in my signature. So in order to take care of that, I'm going to notice this little symbol at the top left corner of my table. What this is, is it allows me to right click here and select the entire table. And once I do that, I get the option down here of Table Properties. This is what I want. Go down to Table Properties and I will find a Borders and Shadings button. Click Borders and Shadings and I'll choose none. I don't want any borders. OK and OK. Now Microsoft Word will still display some gray borders so that you know that you're working with a table. But if you were to print this, it would come out with no borders. And as a matter of fact, it's going to come out with no borders in our Outlook signature. Let's go ahead and save this document and just close my Why not? Now, we don't see the graphic 
in the signature in Outlook. Just wait. Let's go ahead and click OK to close this Create Signature window and double check that in fact the signature for new messages is the one we just created and in fact it is, it's main and I'm going to click OK here now when I click to create a new email message my signature appears in the new email message automatically just like we wanted. Notice that there are no table borders to make it look uh, not the way we want and it is in fact looks quite nice. So that's how to get tables and graphics into an Outlook mail signature.